Welcome dear friends. Today we will discuss about zinc oxide eugenol cement. In your examination, question will be asked in this manner. Write a detailed note on zinc oxide eugenol cement. In that question, you will give short note on zinc oxide eugenol cement. Now eugenol. Eugenol is an allyl benzene derivative. It is the aromatic liquid that is extracted from clove oil, nutmeg oil, cinnamon oil, and basil oil, etc. It is used topically to treat the toothache. Whereas zinc oxide, it is used as bulking agent and filler. Now combination of both this zinc oxide and eugenol, it is known as zinc oxide eugenol cement. It is a material that is created by the combination of zinc oxide and eugenol. Eugenol that is present in the clove oil. This cement was first introduced in 1980. Now when zinc eugenolate chelate forms, it will create acid base reaction. This acid base reaction it is catalyzed by water and it can be further increased by the presence of metal salt. This zinc oxide eugenol cement can be used as a dental filling material or dental cement in the dentistry. It is often used in the dentistry when the tooth decay is very deep or very close to the nerve or pulp chamber. So we will use this zinc oxide eugenol cement when tooth decays more. Tissue inside the tooth it is known as pulp that will react badly to the stimulus stimulus like heat and vibration and that will cause severe inflammation and precipitation reaction. This kind of condition it is known as acute or chronic pulpitis. When this pulpitis occurs this condition usually leads to severe chronic tooth sensitivity or toothache. This pulpitis can only be treated with the removal of the nerve that is known as pulp and this kind of therapy it is known as root canal therapy. Zinc eugenol cement gives anti-inflammatory action in this kind of condition, condition like pulpitis. Now composition of zinc oxide eugenol cement. This zinc oxide eugenol cement composed of solid and liquid material. The solid ingredients are zinc oxide, white rosin, zinc acetate, zinc stearate, whereas liquid components are eugenol and olive oil. Now we will discuss quantity and role of this material. Quantity of zinc oxide is 69% and that is bulking agent and filler. Quantity of white rosin is 29.3%. It increases the fracture resistance. Quantity of zinc acetate is 1% and it improves the strength. Quantity of zinc stearate is 0.7% and that acts as accelerator. Now liquid component eugenol that is present in quantity of 85% to treat the toothache whereas olive oil that is present in 15% quantity and it is anti-inflammatory agent. The zinc oxide paste are dispensed as two separate paste. In this two paste one tube contains zinc oxide and vegetable or mineral oil and the other contains eugenol and rosin. This vegetable or mineral oil act as a plasticizer and helps in the removal of irritant action of eugenol. This eugenol what we are using in the zinc oxide eugenol cement it has irritant action. So to remove this irritant action this vegetable or mineral oil is used. Clove oil that contains 70 to 85 percent eugenol it is used to fill lace burning sensation for the patient when it contact the soft tissues. In addition of rosin to the paste in the second tube, this increases the speed of the reaction and yield a smoother and more homogeneous product. So this rosin it is used in the second tube. It will increase the reaction speed and will create the homogeneous product. Canada balsam and balsam of Peru are also used and the effect is they can increase the flow and improve the mixing properties. If the mixed paste is too thin, then a filler like wax or inert powder like kaolin, talc or diatomaceous earth can also be added. 
now mechanism of zinc oxide eugenol cement the exact mechanism of anesthetic effect from the zinc oxide eugenol cement is unknown but it gives the anti inflammatory effect and it changes the immune cell that is present in the nerve to the less inflamed status it is sometimes used in the management of dental caries as a temporary filling the zinc oxide eugenol it is also used as an impression material during the construction of complete dentures these dentures are the removable plate that is applied on the teeth the zinc oxide eugenol it is not usually used if the patient has large undercuts if large undercuts are present in this type of condition silicon impression material will be used this will be better option as compared to zinc oxide eugenol the zinc oxide eugenol it is also used as an antimicrobial additive in the paint on the teeth so this is all about zinc oxide eugenol cement whenever question ask in your examination you will mention all these things prepare well we will meet again in the next lecture with another topic thank you for watching this video